All right, working on a 96 F-250 project today. Uh, it's been a while since we had an update on this truck. However, as you can see, progress has been made. So uh, we're just gonna jump back from here and show you what all we got done uh, to get to this point. Today's the day. This bed is coming off. Alright, before we take the bed off, we gotta do something with this. This is my water methanol injection setup. 12 gallon tank from Tank Depot. There's the pump down there. There's some other parts of the system here. I'm gonna get all this out and then just clean the rest of my junk out of here. Uh, toolbox we're not keeping. This is just gonna go away, but I gotta get all this out so I can get all the wires and the plumbing and everything off the bottom of the bed. And then we can actually start unbolting this thing. Alright, water methanol injection system has been removed from the toolbox. But we still have a little more we gotta deal with. Uh, you can see here's my wiring hose coming in and there's the water line and stuff. So we gotta get that stuff out. And uh, let me... Ugh. We put the bed up we can put the bed up yeah you can kind of see they come out and then they run down and come back up the frame rail and stuff so i got to get all this stuff out of here we'll just sever the water line uh here from here for now and then uh, put the bed back down. We'll start unhooking the scissor, and then I can start uh, unhooking the bed from the uh, hinges then. Okay, we gotta get the scissor off the bed so we can uh, lift the bed off the truck. And it's difficult to see, uh, but there's a pin right up there. And that's really all I gotta do. I think if I pull that cotter pin out, I can just slide the pin out towards the uh, passenger side of the truck and then the whole scissor will just kind of come down there's like a I got a tab here that'll catch it so it, it doesn't just fall down on the diff but uh, I'm gonna see if I can't wiggle that thing out and get it slipped out and then we will uh, go around to the back of the truck and see about getting the hinges apart We got to remove the door, the bed brackets, taillight stuff. So now, now the bed should fit on. So you know, let's try this again. I'm gonna tinker with this for a day or two. We're gonna try and get this bed bolted to this frame. However, through whatever hacktacular methods are necessary, then we can get rid of this thing. And then uh, as soon as that's done, we'll bring the aluminum bed out get it up on top of that thing all right it's a new day today is the day that we're going to flip this thing over uh, outside and get it up on my truck frame and figure everything out 
uh, or we were, um, but it's raining. <laughs> I don't want to do it in the rain. So instead, I'm going to mess around with the lights, and then uh, next, next nice day we get, we'll do that instead. So long story short, the truck bed, all the, all the lights for the truck bed were not actually wired into the truck's wiring harness. Instead, they were spliced into the uh, seven-way for the uh, uh, trailer trailer harness trailer lights trailer you know not trailer brakes of course but you know all, all the circuitry for uh a trailer as opposed to uh tying them to the oem uh, uh lights so not a big deal but obviously i'm going to use all that circuit so some of this is going to have to get redone uh as it would turn out those two up here in the front were where we thought the wires were just going into the frame they were actually running all the way down the frame rail uh right here and they were spliced into this as well so i have to rewire those two up front i have a couple junky connectors see this one's all corroded i don't think this one was working so uh basically i'm just going to take the day i'm going to rip all this junk out get all the new lights set in uh i have oh i have all sorts of stuff i got new parking lights i got uh, new marker lights i have new uh stop tail turns like there's some grommets in here there's some pigtails i got a, it doesn't look like much in here but there's actually a lot of stuff in there so uh today's plan i'm just going to rip this entire wiring harness out get all the new lights installed and then start laying out uh maybe we can get it all done maybe we can get the whole thing wired up today or or uh you know worst case we'll finish it up tomorrow but i'm just going to get everything completely wired up that way uh the next nice next nice day we get we can actually put the bed up, and then when I'm getting to the point of doing the wiring, it'll just be something as simple as, you know, splice in four wires and go. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'm, uh, I'm going to start knocking all these lights out, and we'll get this harness out. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. This one didn't work. Uh, all corroded. You can see here, same thing on the plug. Everything's all corroded. Must have been at some point, I guess. There's a ton of dirt in the loom. You can see it's all just flaking out as I'm messing with it. Um, so yeah, definitely, uh, definitely worth the time to mess around and, and uh, now and get all this sorted. Well, it's been a while since the last video was shot. Uh, we are back working on the diesel again. So today's project is working back here on the back of the frame. Uh, these are the hinges that I built for the dump conversion. I didn't like the hinges that came in the kit, so I built these considerably overbuilt hinges uh, and I think what I want to do since I have everything apart I have this piece already prepped and ready to go but I kind of want to set this here I think and uh, I think what we're gonna do I think I'm, I think I'm gonna weld it honestly I don't think it's gonna I see no reason for me to ever have to take one hinge apart independent of the other uh, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna weld that here to put the two hinges together i think that will stiffen up the back uh considerably and then uh after the bed is set on there'll be a uh, c-channel frame that one of those aluminum cross members we made is going to land on top of this and we can you know however many holes we want you know i don't know maybe we'll do you know stock bed would have two holes in the back maybe we'll do you know four or something um through there and then i'll have a nice you know stiff rigid should resist you know side not that the other bed had issues with twisting but uh, uh th this should be a lot stiffer so i think that's what i'm going to do today i'm just going to uh you know clean this is obviously already clean up clean the hinges up do some beveling uh lay a bunch of welds maybe this is some heavy material but maybe i'll uh you know drill a couple you know try and drill like two one inch holes or something so i can Plug them up with Meg, get her nice and rigid. I don't know. We'll come up with something, and uh, you know, once I get all this done, then uh, we'll drag the bed outside, get it up in the air, get on top of the frame, and 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 see what our next problem is going to be. Okay, so the hinges are done and modified. This is all welded, painted. So before I put the bed on the frame, what I want to do is we know that. Let me get this set up here. This is. One of the old rails. Oh shoot, let me set the camera down, hold on. Okay, this is one of the original frame rails we cut off the aluminum bed. 
and as you can see I have a bit of a gap here so uh, what I think I want to do is I'm going to build something that sits on top of the frame here to take up most of this gap I want to get it as close to this height as possible and then I think what we're going to do is put a sheet of plastic uh, maybe half inch thick or something something robust on top of that so that when this when the bed comes down it lands on plastic and it's not aluminum on steel because we don't want to deal with the corrosion and that will help me alleviate uh, this air gap here as well because I'm going to be adding some extra gusseting to the aluminum bed uh, below here which will take up some of this gap but we'll have to fill that in as well so um, and then I think there's some other issues we have to do there's this flare for the gas tank here and I think I'm going to take like half of this flare off to make a little more room for the bed that should be all I need and then we can uh, probably do the same thing fit a piece of plastic in so uh, I think before I even go any farther I'm just going to pull the gas tank out entirely it'll be a lot easier to work on the frame without this thing in the way without the necks in the way um, and actually the tank's getting replaced entirely uh, I'm not going to go into great detail on that one right now but I do have a Spectra 38 gallon tank that's going to go in place of the factory one and uh, I'll, I'll probably detail all that in a different video but uh, for now I think I'm going to get the gas tank out and then we're just going to start tinkering here and see what we can come up with to get this rail sitting uh, level front to back all right well, we got all sorts of room to work here uh, I'm going to have to deal with with this though so I think I think that's going to be my next move I'd really like to make I want to change the leaf springs that's one of the many things we're going to do on this truck we're going to get rid of these whooped 20 year old skyjacker lift springs we're going to put a set of super duty leafs in the back and I want the overloads so I'm going to take this bracket off the frame and then I'm going to spend the next couple days reworking this area of the frame making it all nice and pretty again so uh yeah it's kind of crummy and rainy out today i don't know how much we're gonna do but uh i have you know part one done here i have this piece made fits into the frame uh it looks like a random collection of bolts it's not these four are the original four for the pad for the overload um and then these four are just holding the the, the reinforcing plate in the frame so i'm going to take it all apart now I'm gonna cut this section out roughly. I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna cut yet. You can see I found some holes uh, over here when I was needle scaling. So we're gonna cut this out. It's not gonna be a square. It's gonna be some kind of weird round shape uh, because you know corners make stress risers and we don't want that. So I'm gonna cut this, this out, cut some of this junk out. I have to take some of the slip off anyway because of the uh, frame for the uh, bed. So I got to cut a bunch of junk out. Um, so I'm going to do all that. We'll get all this out. And then, you know, the, the plan is because I have these four here, I can then pull, bolt this plate back in and I'll know where these holes were. So when I make my patch, I can then just come in from the backside, drill through, and then this will be exactly, there's no thinking involved. It just goes right back where it was, you know? So I'm going to take this apart and I'm going to try and get all this cut before it starts raining again. We'll see how we make out. And, uh, you know, if not, we'll, we'll screw with it tomorrow. All right. So I've made my final cut in the frame. I've got my back plate back in, uh, just to make sure, you know, that the whole reason I had it bolted in before cutting the frame and so after i cut it if the frame like if the hole spread or whatnot i would know because the bolt holes wouldn't line up anymore uh, but they still do so that's cool it means the frame didn't move so i've got this patch made and uh it's difficult to see i feel like there's a glare on the camera uh, i intentionally made it too small that's because i want to do i wanted an open route i want to make sure when i get in here and weld i'm actually gonna my root pass is going to be to my spine to my back plate and then i can totally fill in the rest and i can clean it all up and make it pretty but that means this back piece will now be a permanent part of the frame but that's that's what i want i want to make sure that i have full penetration all the way to the bottom of the weld and i think that's going to be the best way to do it 
I might fill this in and this in and make those disappear because uh, it's not like we can use these notches anymore anyway. So I might I might might fill that in as well. But for now, I think I'm just going to go get the MIG. I'm going to get this tacked, and then I'm just going to start welding away. Okay, clamped in place, tacked in place. There's no going back now. Okay, so I got this side pretty much all welded and ground down. Uh, I had to cut more out of here because there ended up being a thin spot over here. So I still got to do that uh, inside, fully welded all the way. So that's pretty permanent now. So I'm going to go grab a piece of scrap. We're going to make this piece and then we'll get that welded in and all blended out. And, you know, frame should look good as new. There we have it, man. Job complete. I think this came out awesome, man. Like, man, I, I'm going to slap some uh, primer on this. We'll get it painted up sometime within the next day or two. Uh, I, I, think, uh, I think once I'm done, it's going to be pretty hard to tell I did anything at all. So, super excited. So, yeah, let me uh, get some paint on this thing. And then, uh, you know, tomorrow we'll come out here and we'll start messing around with the fuel tank. All right, so... Got my frame repair completely done, painted. I think it looks, I think it came out really nice. I think it's going to be basically impossible to tell we did anything, which is my goal. Uh, I have my half inch, or I'm sorry, my quarter inch plate is in here and fully welded. So the frame is now half inch thick in this area. So I think that's going to be more than enough beef uh, that I should never have a problem in that area again. Uh, especially considering, you know, we were driving around in a truck with, I mean, geez, there's not a whole lot. <laughs> I don't know what I left here, you know? So, uh, I think we're gonna call it here for now. I need to uh, find a time to get the frame rails modified, to get them uniform and flat. And I, I think that's gonna be, I think that's gonna be tomorrow's project. We're gonna come out here and, and mock some stuff up. Uh, but yeah, I think we're gonna call this one uh, uh, here for now. And hopefully the next video, we'll be able to bring the bed out and kind of like set it hopefully set it in place and get it bolted to the hinges because it would be really cool to be able to, to move the bed up and down um e even if it's just with the uh hoist for now but uh yeah uh stick around because the next one should be uh, a lot more a lot more progress than this one <laughs> hopefully so yeah well you know thanks for watching